hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to show you how i created a chatbot for my personal portfolio website uh, with custom knowledge base so first i'll show you its demo and after that i'm going to walk you through how i created it so when i click on chat with me a pop-up opens and uh, it it's an op optional form uh, you, if user want to fill it then he can get more personalized response if not then he can skip it so i'm just skipping this form so uh, i'll just say hi so it's a hi there i'm inertia the name that i given i have given it to uh, given it uh, and i'm here to tell you about saurabh a highly uh, skilled DevOps engineer and full stack developer. Want to know about more? Uh, so it's personalized res response. Uh, now I'm sh going to show you. Uh, I'm going to ask him something written to me. Who is Saurabh? Who is he? So uh, he's highly skilled DevOps engineer and uh, everything about me he has given it has also given links to my portfolio uh, linkedin instagram github and my youtube channel uh, what are his pricing so pricing depend upon the entirely on the project and complexity and it gave my email address to contact so I'll walk you through how I created this uh, chatbot. Mm. Okay, so let's go to VS Code. So here I have one component chatbot.ts. This is the model. Uh, inside that I have chatbot model and chat form. So I'll just open the chat form quickly. Uh, chat form doesn't have anything special it's just a form and stores everything in the local storage and you can skip it because everything is optional uh, nothing special here uh, the main thing lies in the chatbot model uh, when i open it okay so uh, i have using a use state for the initial message for the user uh, initial greeting after that, uh, I have imported my uh, Gemini AI API key from the env file. Then I am selecting the model at Gemini flash. After that, uh, I am using the chat with history on. So here is the history and I am providing the prompt. I will show you what prompt look, uh, what this prompt looks like uh, later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the main function is this whenever user clicks on enter uh, and or submit then this fun on submit function get triggered so here uh, we are getting user message and putting it inside our set message so display all the messages and we are uh, setting uh, sender as user and text as what the input user have uh, given us after that uh, we are just setting uh, load is some kind of loading so user can see that our uh, uh, ai is thinking or typing uh, then in try crash bo block i'm just sending the message as input chat dot send message input and uh, the response that i am getting from the uh, ai i am just converting it into text and setting it inside the message and uh, center will be bot uh, uh, this sender will uh, specify the styling of the uh, chat nothing special here then in console log I am just uh, 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 saying that error and after that I am adding a response sorry uh, I ran into issue please try again so then I am this is the uh, part where I am scrolling it down uh, whenever I am uh, bot is typing and I am at the top of the chat it will automatically scroll down into the view and this is for automatically focusing the uh, input area 
so now i'm going to show you uh, what our prompt look like i'm just looking at yeah so this is the prompt here i am uh, let me make it yeah so i am given it i have just saying that you are inertia chatbot representing sora pande so i have uh, uh, customized it according to my need you can customize it as you want uh, and i have provide every information information my research what services i offer uh, what are my charges skills certifications project i worked on social media and everything and in the end here i have uh, your job is to provide accurate engaging information about him to user and make sure all your responses are in markdown form because uh, why in markdown i just go here and show you yeah so uh, the bot response or my response i am just uh, rendering inside a react markdown component so it's just a component which is taking markdown components and here i have uh, different different component for each tags like if uh, it sends code then i have this uh, for bold italic tables images i also have customize uh, component for links hr and everything so this is a simple uh, simple yet effective way to create your personal uh, chatbot with custom uh, knowledge base uh, there is one more way to create same uh, before that i'll just show you how to get your api key uh, how to get your this uh, gemini api key uh, you can go to uh, ai studio.google.com slash app slash api key and just click on generate api key you will get your api key from here and you can uh, paste it in your environment variable and you are good to go but there is one more way to create same thing uh, this is cheaper way to create a uh chatbot with your custom knowledge base but if you want it to have a extensive knowledge if you have pdfs uh, websites images and everything you can just create a vertex ai uh, agent which is inside the uh, gcp google cloud console and if you want tutorial for that uh, i can create that also and if you need uh, this tutorial in depth and create a custom chatbot on any topic or anything yes you can just comment down and i'll make sure that i'll make video on that topic uh, for now uh, that's it thank you and have a nice day bye